a story worth highlighting. There's a road rage incident that's one of the scariest I've ever heard. Let's put up the picture full mass. In Texas, Kevin Roth is accused of pointing a gun at a black woman during a road rage incident. You see the picture there. Now imagine there's a road rage incident and this guy is chasing you with a gun. Let me give you a background. In Harris County, Texas, while a black woman was waiting in a traffic at a traffic light, there was a brief moment before she went through the light once it turned green. During that moment, Kevin Roth immediately honked at her for not already going through the light. To her surprise and immediate reaction, she decided to honk back at Mr. Roth, the driver behind her. After she honked back at the driver, she instantly noticed that he pulled out a gun. That's a cowardly move. She says that's when she took off and sped to a gas station in the public area. I had already seen the gun in the car, so I didn't want to just pull over like a regular car accident. She said after pulling into a Phillips gas station, she got out of her car and ran into the gas station. Video shows Roth closely following the black woman with his gun pointed at her back. After the woman attempted to leave the store, Video shows that Roth followed her back to her car and tried to take the keys out. The raging madness continues after Roth had already attempted to extract the keys, take it from her ignition. He then got back in his car and proceeded to hit her car again with the hope of keeping her from leaving the station. The black woman said that's when he started shouting racial slurs. The woman scared for her life says that quote, I honestly didn't think he would pull a gun out in the public and chase me. As she continued to say that he was like, get on the ground right now. The woman says that while Roth was aiming the gun at her, she was scared and that she could see that he was kind of scared too, visually noticing him shaking. And and I will say this, I don't think he was scared, I think he was amped, okay? He was shaking his hands. That's why I was scared. I'm scared because you're scared. He could have done anything to me out of fear. We're gonna get to that in just a moment because Doc just highlighted that dynamic. She's right. Deputies arrived to the scene and afterwards confiscated the gun for Roth. They arrested him and charged him with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, Um, rescued in tears. My heart was just racing. When the police got there, I was just in tears, the woman says. Roth was later released on a $25,000 bond. That is so low for what he did in my opinion. With the Harris County Sheriff's Office claiming that Roth had not been charged with any prior offenses other than minor traffic offenses. Uh, I just want you to keep in mind $25,000 go through a bonding company. Okay, you get out for $2,500. Okay, doc, she says something quite real, quite relevant. She said she was afraid because he could have killed her and simply said, I feared for my life. Talk to that. You know, we have, we have deputized people to act on their fears by whipping out guns. And what do you think is gonna happen? These you know, road rage, partner violence, somebody knocking on your door. These are moments where you're encountering strangers and then you jump to all kinds of conclusions based on assumptions, biases, implicit biases about race, about aggression, about something else that so often are based on your own psychology, not based on the interaction or the other person in Tennessee. We have deputized people to have the same rights as police officers. They have the same protections. If you shoot somebody and you imagine that you're like John Wayne stopping a crime or something like that, you get the same you get the same protection. So this guy's acting like a white hero cop savior, right? Get on the ground. I'm saving the world from blah, 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 blah. This is the outcome 
of the laws that we have in, that we have put into place. And the laws again need to be changed because defensive gun use and a lot of this open carry without any regulation at all leads to these kind of actions. Now this guy, is this is horrible and this is obviously a very extreme case, but it's not like it's the outlier of a million, it, it's, it's, it's the tip of an iceberg um, of a lot of other things that are happening. It's not like this is such an outlier that this kind of thing never happened before. Well said. Well said.